Hello everyone, my name is Amit and I am super excited to present to you an amazing project that I had the privilege of contributing to. The project's name is Smartical and it is a knowledge sharing social network. The project was developed by a team of five programmers, including myself, and is available as an open source code. Smartical was developed using the Django framework in Python and you can access all the code and tests on the GitHub link provided down below in the description. So let's dive in and explore the functionalities of Smartical. Let's go. So first of all, as we can see in our main page, in the navbar we have the option of logging, what means that we are in a guest mode. So as a guest, we are missing some permissions and privileges, uh, and what we can do is read articles. Let's go down below to the article section in the main page and see that we can view an article. So let's get into one, just choose, and it appears. So now we can get back to our main page and I think that we'll log in to a user. We will log in to user one that we prepared in advance. Now that we are logged in, we can see we have some more options in the navbar. Let's go to my article section. Here, in my article section, we can see all the articles that were written and published by the user we are currently logged into, or in this case, user number one. Now, let's go back to the main page again and view the exact same article that we have opened before during machine is awesome. We can see that the views count incremented and the fact that now we have a like button. Let's like the article and unlike it and let the counter change. But let's keep the like because it's a nice article. Let's check out more of the apps functionality and go to the search section. I'd like to read an article about Manchester United. So let's search for it. And we can see we have no results. So let's make sure the next time we search for Manchester United article, there would be one. Let's create a new article about Manchester United. The subject would be sport. And let's write some content. Manchester United is the best football club in the world and now publish it. We can see we were redirected to my articles page and now it has our new article with zero views and zero likes. Let's search for it. And we can see we got our article about Manchester United. Awesome. Now let's check some other cool features we have in our app. As a programmer, I like the subject of software. So let's search for articles of the subject software. So we will write software and click search. Now we can see all the articles about software that we have in our app. Another cool feature is the option to search by user. I heard that user 2 writes some interesting articles. So let's search for them. Oh, we got Turing Machine is awesome article. Such a great article. I totally love it. After seeing all what user 2 wrote, I think I can make my article better. So let's go to my articles. Go down and edit the Manchester United article. Just click on edit. And now we can change the content and improve the title. The subject will remain sport, and now all we have is to submit it. We can see in my articles that it has changed. Now we can go to the main page and check it here as well. Let's get here, and there it is. I think we had enough of user 1. So let's log out and see what user 3 has to offer. Let's see what articles it published. 
Yes, mental health tips and best Pokemon article. The best Pokemon is not relevant since we have a new generation of Pokemons, so let's delete this blog. And we can search in the article section if it exists. We can see it doesn't exist. Let's go to search article and search for the title Pokemon. The article didn't found, so it is deleted. Great, exactly what we expected. So that was the demo of our app Smarticle. I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to share and check it out by yourself. Link to the project's GitHub repo on the description below. See ya!